question was, what is this thing? This is the thing. I feel like you've reached a, like a key milestone where it comes to building this or having this or realizing this. Getting into a place where you can share this with the people that you love. Pisces, hi. Let's take a look at what's going on for you in December 2020. We will take a look at your past, your present, and your future. We'll take a look at your heart, your mind, and your body. We'll pull clarifying cards and a card of advice towards the end. We're just going to take a look at the energies that are surrounding you and how you can harness them, work with them, to move forward confidently to achieve your goals. All right, so I've been shuffling your cards off camera for a little bit. I'm gonna give them one last shuffle. We'll cut the deck three ways and then we will sync up. Pisces, December, 2020. In the position of your heart, oh, beautiful. We have the sun, a feeling of expansion, happiness, joy, especially inside of a community of support, like a family unit or a group of friends. A lot of clarity right now. Your heart is clear. In the position of your mind and what you think about it all, this can't get any better. The Six of Cups. This is the card of catching the wave and riding it to shore. It's the Yes card. It's a card of emotional fulfillment, um, some sort of achievement, some sort of success, some sort of victory. Right? Look how they're holding their um, lanterns up in a, a posture of success. <clears throat> felt on the emotional plane but also in the position of your mind so it's something that you're fully conscious of like you you got what you wanted somewhere somehow we have the, the sun in the position of your heart and in the position of your mind we have a very similar card which is one of success and achievement um victory felt emotionally in the position of your body, we have the six of wands. Wow. Another six. S something is being accomplished this month, Pisces. This is maintaining your balance and equilibrium inside of a spinning wheel of fire. So a lot of energy around you, a lot of vitality around you. This is physical vitality. So it's cool that it's in the position of your body. You might be experiencing a great deal of physical health, like just feeling really good in your body. It's also in the position of your foundation. So while there might be a lot of energy and activity around you at this moment, you are balanced and strong inside of it. This is standing inside of your power. Wow, Shakti energy. In the position of your past, we have the 10 of cups. Yeah, something can't, gosh, Pisces. Something happened for you that is making you feel like you won something, like there was something that you accomplished and it is having you in this place of like, I feel so content emotionally and so satisfied and powerful emotionally. Ten of Cups in the past, this is like giving thanks for a great harvest. Look at the double rainbow. That's luck and prosperity. This community here that you see in this image is giving thanks for the harvest that came before. So they've done the hard work of sowing the seed. Now they're reaping the reward. This is ultimate emotional contentment. Has to do with family, has to do with love, has to do with community. Tied to your community in some way, look, because then we have the sun that follows it in the present moment, also in the position of your heart. So a community here in the present, a community here in the past. So some sort of success and achievement felt on the emotional plane inside of a community of support, whether it be your family, your friend group, your work group, um, or some spiritual community that you're a part of. In the position of the present, we have the four of wands. <laughs> oh, wow. So this thing that is happening for you now is going to be ceremonialized or ritualized in some way, taking it to the next level. It's a celebration. It could be as literal as a party. 
It's um, a coming together of people to celebrate moving from one phase of development to the next, from one place to the next place. It's a recommitment or taking your commitment to the next level. Wow, Pisces, what in the heck is going on right, right now in December? This is probably one of the most beautiful readings or the most beautiful cards that have come out in this configuration in a long time. So very, very exciting. What do we need to clarify? What is this thing? What is this thing that has brought you all of this emotional fulfillment and this fiery, passionate, creative spark or energy standing in your power? This is in your foundation, feeling yourself, Shakti energy, creativity. Um, wow. This is in your foundation, standing strong radiating just radiating this positive creative vital vibrant energy okay so what is this thing i need some i need some clarifying cards here because i gotta know what is this thing going on for pisces Ooh, <laughs> whoa pisces generational wealth okay so <clears throat> This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is the seed of something long-lasting, secure, stable, ultimately abundant. We have two tens here. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Ultimately abundant rea reality. Having enough abundance to share with your community, with your family. The Ace of Pentacles is the seed. And then through the progression of the numbers of the, the suit of Pentacles is this effort and energy and attention and awareness expended upon growing this seed, cultivating the seed into the Ten of Pentacles, which is ultimately this place of great wealth, great abundance, where it comes to real things like a beautiful home, um, having enough money or resources, food, um, to share, to share. That's the key, to share with your family unit, to share with the people that you love, whoever that they are. So this thing, I, the question was, what is this thing? This is the thing. I feel like you've reached a, like a key milestone where it comes to building this or having this or realizing this, getting into a place where you can share this with the people that you love. Gosh. Okay. <clears throat> what is this four of wands in your future? This is some sort of celebration, some sort of ceremony, some sort of ritual. The women, the girls in this picture are celebrating their menarch. So they've, um, they're moving from, from, uh, childhood into adulthood and they are ritualizing that transition so there's some ritual here that is taking place in your future I might add that it is the four of wands oh it's a brand new beginning <laughs> stepping off the cliff and releasing yourself to something beautiful and juicy some brand new beginning it takes a lot of trust takes a lot of faith it also takes um Wiping the slate clean. This is tabula rasa, right? Just clean slate. New beginning, clean slate. Wow. <clears throat> I lost my train of thought there. Oh, four of wands. The four is the number of stability. So there's great stability around this new beginning. Around this new beginning. The fool. What are the qualities of this new beginning? Uh, which deck should I use? I want to know what this new beginning is all about and what the qualities are. Pisces, the cards just getting keep getting better. I mean, I wonder if <laughs> these are some of the most positive cards I've seen all strung in a row like this. We have two sixes, the number of achievement and success and accomplishment and satisfaction, quite frankly. 
We have two tens, the number of completion. Ooh, interesting. This thing, this new beginning. Here's a card that came out to clarify that. This is the Nine of Cups. Okay, this is really interesting. The Nine of Cups in the traditional deck shows a figure, a man, sitting down, quite like this one, um, heavily robed, also like this figure, sitting with his arms crossed across his chest with nine cups behind him, full, upright, and he has this look of satisfaction on his face. It is the wish card. It is the um, wish fulfillment card. It's emotional contentment, emotional satisfaction. In this particular deck, which is the Osho Zen deck, here we see somebody who is living a life of luxury, but their world is shattering around them. Their reality is about to shatter. This is about, well, it's called laziness, but to me, it's more about complacency being in a place and um, sort of being satisfied with where you're at and unwilling to make a change uh, because you feel like, you know, it's, this is fine. You know, this is actually very comfortable and I'm fine with this. Um, so there, if there is a challenge for you coming around this new beginning in the future, there might be a little bit of little bit of you a part of you that's like uh but this is I'm I mean it does look in your past like everything is pretty freaking great um this is okay this is good I'm fine with this push yourself because there's something better push yourself to get out of that sort of uh that comfort zone that you might have been in but ultimately I mean with the the different meanings of these cards compared to the Osho Zen to the uh, traditional deck. Nine of Cups is about, oh, it's a wish card. It's like making a wish. What do you want to happen? Because now is a perfect time for it to come true. So engage with that energy. See, now this person is not engaging with that energy. They're just sort of, you know, like, no, cool. I'm cool. I'm comfortable where I'm at. This is pretty great. This is pretty good. However, what you see in this card is that it's coming for him. Look at the shattering of this ice or glass or whatever it is around him. It's coming for him. So it's best to engage with that energy. What do I really want? And be proactive, be active in that energy because it's coming whether you engage with it or not. So you might as well engage with it. And I do get a sense that you are engaging with it. So it just might be like, you know, the thing that you might have to <clears throat> push a little bit harder around be more conscious of. So, wow. More qualities about this new beginning that's coming for you. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Ultimate abundance, ultimate emotional satisfaction. Giving thanks, generosity, able to share. Able to share with your community, able to share with your family. <clears throat> More qualities about this new beginning that's coming for Pisces in the future. What is this thing about? Let's focus here. There we go. Oh, interesting. Totality. It is about working with others. Look at this um, orchestrated exercise that these three people are engaged in. How much trust how much openness, how much willingness, how much confidence that it takes to engage in this exercise that they are engaged in together and that they're collaborating around. Totality. They're like one. They have to get into that mind space of being one. Working with others, whatever this thing is coming, in the future, it will involve collaborating with others and it'll take you to this, this interesting new place of oneness inside of that collaboration. Timing, there's something here to do with timing. There's something here to do with trust. Qualities about this new thing that's coming for Pisces, please. Ooh, it will bring about a transformation for you. 
And this is fundamental transformation. This isn't just like a slight change or a temporary change. This is deep, spiritual, fundamental transformation. Wow, Pisces, whatever's happening. I wanna be you right now. This is beautiful. Let us pull a card of guidance for you, Pisces. Not like you need it. Um, but, you know, just just some more, more wisdom here for you in December 2020. Particularly where it comes to embarking on this new beginning. Hawk. Oh, two. This is a messenger. Let's read about Hawk. I haven't pulled Hawk in a while. <clears throat> yeah, it's the messenger card. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna hold this up for you while I read so you can see it. Life is the initiation. If you've pulled the Hawk card, then right now, a clue about the magic of life is being brought to you. This magic can imbue you with the power to overcome a currently stressful or difficult situation. The test is your ability to observe the nuances of power lurking nearby. Is power the talent you have and are not using? Okay, so we're talking about power here. This is in your foundation. Standing in your power. <clears throat> Are solutions always hard to find because you've lost the broader vision of Hawk? Or is the Great Spirit displaying a gift that you need only to receive? Have the colors of the morning inspired you to create? Or has the gloominess of a present situation left you earthbound, unable to hear the voice within the raindrops splashing on your window? Pay attention. You are only as powerful as your capacity to perceive, receive, and use your abilities. What is called for here is an intuitive ability to discern the message carried within the cry of Hawk. The shrillness of Hawk's call pierces the state of unawareness and asks you to seek the truth. Yeah, so it's calling for you. Hawk is calling for you to pay attention. What is this guy not doing? He's not paying attention. He's comfortable. He's complacent. He's like, nope, things are cool. I'm going to stay right here in my comfort zone. Hawk is saying, hey, something's coming for you. Pay attention. Receive. Perceive. And engage. The ancients recognized this magnificent bird of prey as a messenger bringing tidings to their earth walk, the good red road, from the world of the grandfathers and grandmothers who lived before them. If Hawk were to magically cry, it was a sign to beware or be aware. This could mark the coming of a warring tribe, the birth of a child, or the celebration of counting coup. Okay, so now they're talking about Hawk serving as a messenger to mark critical moments, right? So rituals, ceremonies, marking critical moments. That's exactly what's happening here. Moving from one place to another, a ritual that celebrates that. Hawk's cry signaled this, the need for the beholder to heighten awareness and receive a message. <clears throat> Hawk medicine is a totem that is filled with responsibility because Hawk people see the overall view. Hawk is not like the mouse who sees everything through a magnifying glass. Hawk medicine people are aware of omens, messages from spirit, and the color of the calling card you gave them three months ago. No detail slips by them unnoticed. A calling card, I think, is a business card. <laughs> That's a really outdated term. If Hawk has circled and landed in your card spread, you are to be aware of signals in your life, so notice and receive them. Hawk may be teaching you to grab an opportunity which is coming your way. On the other hand, Hawk may be bringing you the message that you should circle over your life and examine it from a higher perspective. From this vantage point, you may be able to discern the hazards which bar you from freedom of flight. Remember, Hawk has a keen eye and a bold heart, for Hawk flies close to the light of Grandfather Sun. Whoa. There was another message there inside of that of taking the overall view. Be aware. Keen sight. Six is the number of that 60,000 foot view, that overarching perspective. 
if we had the Six of Swords down here, you would see that. The Six of Swords is six women flying in the air together, holding hands, flying in the air together and looking down. And it's a card of being able to see, having that sort of distanced perspective that you need to kind of move forward, right? So six is the number of like the, the hawk eye view, the eagle eye view. And there is a message of like, take an overall view of this so that you can perceive and receive this gift that's coming for you, this new beginning that's coming for you. Wow. This new beginning that is also bringing about great transformation, fundamental spiritual transformation in your life. So the message is really clear, you know, when this Nine of Cups card about laziness or complacency came out, that there is a need for you to like snap, like pay attention and get engaged with this energy that's coming for you. Wow. Pisces, if this reading resonated with you, will you hit the like button, please? And also um, comment below. I want to know what's going on in your life. Uh, this looks freaking amazing. Um, I'm wishing you the best in December 2020. Take really good care.